Welcome to Good Mythical More. Can you identify the movie based on the first line uttered from it? Wow. I don't know, let's find out. But first, let's donate $1,000 to save the children to aid in their mission to ensure their three global goals are met. No child should die from preventable causes. All children should have access to a quality basic education and no child should be a victim of violence. Love what they're doing with Save the Children. Please join us in giving at savethechildren.org slash donate. Nice. All right. This is, I, I guess just hit us with one, Stevie. I, I did, how can I be good at this? These are, yeah, they're they're difficult. And I also, I wish that I personally knew them because then I could like encapsulate the the vocal to- tones, you know, oh, you the know? accents, whatever it is. So I'm gonna this one either. completely guess. Wow, well, okay. Once upon a time. She only watches movies with lesbians. I can't hear what you're saying. Doesn't. You also can't you hear what I'm movies saying. With Lesbians? Do you watch movies without lesbians? Do you mean she? I try she only, and avoid it. She sits down with other lesbians to watch movies, or she watches movies with lesbians in them. Both. Oh. <laughs> it's the only type of movie you talk to me about. What? Is there like a lesbian movie theater in town? <laughs> no. Did you know there's less than twenty five lesbian club uh, bars clubs in all of the U S. Less what? than twenty five. Yeah. Less well, how, than how many gay bars are there? So many. <laughs> well, y'all got to catch up. I know. Um, I'm not going to draw some generalization from that as another level of joking about this. I'm I just move on. T- I'll, I'll tell you what I do do. Um, I watch stuff with subtitles on. Oh, do you do that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I hate it. I've started it's doing like, that. I have to do it. It's yep. Sad. And you can change you. One thing that can help if you're having an issue with this is you can change your TV setting to reduce loud sounds, and what it it kind of evens things out. So when you turn your volume up, you, the dialogue is 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 you, better. You get real old, man. Reduce loud sounds. <laughs> but it, the no, Princess Bride. No, the way that what the Princess Bride. What well, she hadn't said the line yet. I just said once upon. She a said time. once upon a time. Oh. But I couldn't, you were talking. Once upon know, a time. Which never Shrek. happens, which never happens. Shrek. Talking, oh, but. that could be good. It's Shrek. <laughs> hey! Yeah, okay. But you knew, was this I a mean, guess or you remember? It was a guess because I knew that they made fun of fairy tales and I knew that uh, we have a lot of fans of Shrek here on the writing team. I'm always trying to get Shrek in Who's here. the number one Shrek fan that keeps trying to bring Shrek in everything? Is that Devante? Aubrey, apparently. Aubrey. Devante. Devante. Devante's a huge Shrek fan. All right, Aubrey. You're big um, enough. Oddly speaking, enough. Speaking of Aubrey, Aubrey drew me right here. This is me. Nothing that, funny in the um, Shrek intro. And here is Devante. Yeah. De- well, this is me drawn by Devante from memory. So this is Aubrey for me, uh, which, you know, very Bob Ross-like thing going on. And then Devante, he does a stylistic approach to things. Yeah. They're both Shrek fans. Now the best one on here, well this the worst one is uh, clearly from uh, Brittany. This one sucks. <laughs> Brittany has no clue what I look like because she just started here. I like the top of your head on Brittany's. I mean, like your head I, looks like, like a an flat egg. Top. Sierra's is better, but still kind of sucks. And then whose is this? <laughs> Uh, both Kaylin and I think Emily did like show some artistic potential here. Kaylin, you have some potential, and um, Emily, you have realized her potential. Like I think this is Emily. Really, what's your Emily? Okay, Emily. Right there, oh, is Emily. this your Kaylin? Yeah, Kaylin did a good job. Wow, that's really good. She and also who, made my face look like a heart. With the widow's peak. Interesting. Yeah. And is that Emily over there? This is Emily, yeah. Well, that says me, drawn by Emily. I love that you're wearing like a Steve Harvey blazer. <laughs> yeah, you know me and my right here, double-breasted. Well, well, well this is like a flannel. Good work, guys. But stick to writing. <laughs> oh, okay. What you forgot how to draw too? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. This is a stick-up. Don't anybody move. Now empty that safe. Pulp Fiction. No. Because it's Don't Anybody. 
beeping move. And there's no safe in, in that. Uh, yeah, there's no safe. Oh, okay, that was your guess before the hint, before the multiple choice. All right, this is a stick up. If any of you- What's that movie where- Move, I'ma kill every last one of you. What's that movie where everybody, uh, Ocean's Eleven. What is that movie where everybody- I mean, yeah, that is a good summary of Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> where everybody, I can't follow it. Okay, is it The Dark Knight? Baby Driver or Toy Story? Uh, I haven't driver. seen Baby Driver. Baby Kevin driver. Spacey's in it. And, yeah. Well, I don't okay. know. I saw it before I knew that stuff about Kevin Spacey. So don't, don't throw me on. under the bus. What were your guesses? Baby, Baby Driver? driver. I'm guessing Dark Knight. It's Toy Story. Oh. Because An like Andy's playing with They're his all, toys. Yes, he's playing yeah. with his toys. What a good movie. Yeah, it is. So great. Well, you should see the sequel. It's even better. Which one? Or the fourth one. Saturday, March 24th, or 24, I, don't know, I can't remember, 1984, Shermer High School, Shermer, Illinois, 60062. Friday. <laughs> Just kidding. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, back to the Future, part two. You're all over it, but is it The Breakfast Club? Heather's or 16 Candles? What is Heather's? Oh, oh my God. Gosh, you don't know about the Heather's? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Uh, I'm going with Breakfast Club. That is so upsetting. <laughs> what? You don't know what Heather's is? And you also haven't seen it. Uh, it's just. It's Have you seen any of those three that she just named? Um, you watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off because we made you watch it. Yeah, here. I watched it with you. It's great. And what was the other one? Breakfast Club and Sixteen Candles. I say Breakfast Club. Sixteen Candles. But have you seen them? No. <laughs> um, I didn't listen to what you guessed. I but said Breakfast it was Club. the Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah, there's so much content now. Why am I going to go? Oh my god. Because Breakfast past. Club starts their in detention from the beginning, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so but, I mean, like basically the whole thing. Yeah. Oh. Is that why they call it Breakfast Club? Because they're in detention. Is that their Breakfast Club? What's called Detention Breakfast Club? It's a cool idea for a movie. I don't know why. Like, I know you haven't seen a lot of movies, but like my chest kind of hurts right now. <laughs> Like, I'm having a physical reaction to the news. I, I think most of all, I think if you had said, I haven't seen Heathers, I wouldn't be having a mild heart attack. But I've known said, a lot of Heathers. I, you know, I don't know what Heathers is. Which I, is I, had, I had a childhood friend named Heather. Two, two, two grades up, there was another Heather. He there's lots of Heathers. That's why it's so appropriate that there was a movie called Heathers. I think they're doing, they're not redoing Heathers, but they're doing a Heathers-esque they did a Heather's esque movie on, uh, well, whatever. What am I talking when I, about? When I was care. in, let's you see. can't watch all, all anything until you watch Heather's Peacock. original. Is that where they're doing? Sure, it? yeah. Peacock. Remember when we were in the back of the church van and Heather turned around and she put her, and I was in, I was in eighth grade and she was in tenth grade and she turned around and she put her boobs in my face. Well, it, wait, she no. smushed her boobs into my face no. and I looked at you. She acted like she was reaching for something. She acted like she was reaching for something and she put her boobs in my face. Right. Just a toy with somebody who she knew had a crush on her. Man, that was, that's cold hearted, isn't it? I mean, wait until you see Heather's, the movie. <laughs> you saw it happen. Yeah, I, was, I just froze. I was like, "Lucky dog." I was like, him. "I wish he, I wish he could point out something near me." <laughs> I mean, she was that type of person. Mm -hmm. She was like, yeah. "I know you have a crush on me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush my boob against the side yeah. of your face." She frequented my dreams. <laughs> this is this should be in your dreams. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't come up with a better segue. Hey, check out our game. Uh, we developed check this game out, with man. Spin Master. It's a great uh, game to play with friends. Rhett and Links, we're still good. It's um, it's it's lots of fun and it's very easy to understand. And I it love that. And about it leaves it. you with a positive feeling about the world yeah. because you've just you, you've 
you've talked about catastrophic things, you've had a laugh, and you've put a positive spin you on spun it. Spun it around. Uh, we're still good, available at walmart.com and select Walmarts near you. It's pretty cool to see our um, our visages on the shelf in, 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 in retail. I haven't seen it, I haven't been there to see it. Have you seen it somewhere? You're uh, saying it's a pretty cool idea. I've seen pictures of it, yeah. yeah. It's a pretty cool idea. I'd never given much thought to how I would die, but dying in the place of someone I love seems like a good way to go. Oh! Oh! Dying in the place of someone I love. Dying in the place of someone I love. The way you read it <laughs> and everything. I was trying to evoke who I think yes. might say this, yes. but the, the chances that you know are very slim, I would say. Really? I, w I wouldn't know it. What, give me the genre. Mm, YA? Yeah, YA, yeah, sure. Panic um, Room. Um, you know what? <laughs> shared actor. <laughs> oh, it's got... Carney's very excited about a shared room, actor. Shared actor. Oh, it's got Jodie Foster in it? Yes. No, Halle Berry. It's got Halle Berry in it. <laughs> oh, it's got Kristen Stewart in it. The first Twilight. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that. Oh, the cha the the options were so good. Twilight, A Walk to Remember, and The Notebook. A Walk to Remember <laughs> is good. Good times. Huh? It's what? A Walk to Remember is good. It's so good. I've watched that movie like 10 times. Me too. You've never seen it. No, I have never seen it. I'm not upset about it, though. I am upset about Heather's to remind you. But you have seen Twilight. I have seen Twilight. I was, it was hilarious. That, like, that upsets me more. It was hilarious. You took the time to watch Twilight. I, ha I haven't done that. Well, clear your schedule, buddy, because I know what we're doing this afternoon. Are you watching closely? Is that a new movie? Yeah. Uh, so this is a hint. This is like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. This is a Choose Your Own Adventure movie. I've never seen this Are movie. you watching closely? Um, you know what's a good movie? Knives Out. And that there's a new one coming out? I was about to say, this sounds like a, a, like a clue type movie, like Knives Out. Are you watching closely? Right. There's something that you're supposed to be figuring out. Yeah, that's what made me think about it. Um, Who's the murderer? Are you watching Inception? Um, Conception. Preception, nine and a half weeks. Same director as Inception. I remember going through the video store. Scott Derrickson? No, he didn't. That was he didn't do. And Chris and I remember Nolan. Nolan. I remember seeing nine and a half weeks. Are you watching closely? Well, the the the, the cover of it. Interstellar. Are you watching closely? Memento. The um, greatest showman. Men. <laughs> I remember well, I said not, that weird that's before. Not Nolan. <laughs> The greatest showman. Showman? <laughs> yeah, showman. Yeah, you, had to hit, you hit the man hard. Showman. I, you know, the yeah. The greatest showman. That's why I can't say it correctly. <laughs> I can tell you're a big fan. The I bailed prestige. on that movie eight minutes The in. Prestige. Or. Because they would the not Babadook. stop singing. Baba, Baba Duke. The Prestige. And what a great movie. Go back and watch it. It really holds up. Yeah, it's Great prestige. movie. No spoilers. I've never in my life. But you might want to watch it with the subtitles on. And the loud sounds turned quiet. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. You, you don't it, want to it be does startled help. by it. It does help. But that's like being in the theater, though. You want to be loud when it gets you loud. You can't. It helps you hear the dialogue. The other thing you can do is if you if you have like an Apple TV and you put your AirPods in. Oh, I heard you can, about this. Oh, it's so good. You can sit down on your couch late at night and watch something. And when you turn your head, it's spatial. The sound stays there. Did y'all know about that? No. It, yeah, it's so nice. Is the subtitle, th is that it's an easy, old person thing? It's pristine thing? audio, too. Oh, it, well, the sub, it, I mean. No, I mean, like. Not exclusively, but yes. No, I, no, not exclusively, but, like, at a certain point, like, I would say four years ago, I, like, I need subtitles for I'm everything. I'm telling you, Stevie, it's the mixing. It's the way things are mixed now. It's it, not it changed, you. right? It's not me. But I hate subtitles. Because I because then you end up looking at the subtitles. Oh, I used to be strictly anti subtitles, and yeah. then at, a, at I'm telling you, like for like at 31. Yes. I don't know what age it is, but I do know 30, it's totally yeah. a thing. Because I accuse my wife of not being able to hear me, uh, and 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 then the kids accused 
uh, her of not being able to hear them. And so she went in for a hearing test and um, they said she had normal hearing. <laughs> but, they, <laughs> but they said that one of the things that happens, you know, in your 40s is that you begin to lose the, like you can pass a hearing test when there's like things at different volumes going on in your ears, but what you begin to lose is the ability to hear in context, so at like a restaurant. So maybe the context of all the sounds that are in a movie make it more difficult for us oldies to, to be able to hear. Because the loud sounds are too loud and they mix the, they mix the dialogue quieter and, and actors these days you can't understand what they're saying. They especially, talk too quiet. Okay, like, we have some young mythical crew members here who all watch with subtitles. Yes, it. Lily watches so, everything yeah. with subtitles. See, okay, isn't that a problem? Yes. Shouldn't we fix this situation? Yes, yes because it. I hate it when the subtitles spoil lines. I hate it. Yeah, because they're so, not timed well. But now I'm trying to develop this ability to only look at the subtitles when I need them. No, that's impossible. And it's so, it's such a, I, it's a difficult thing. It's really hard to not look at those subtitles when they pop up every time. It's like, what if there was a service- You have to actively ignore the bottom part of the screen. What if there was a service that only gave you subtitles for the parts that they knew would be hard to understand? <laughs> or, or, yes, I was thinking about this. What I would like is subtitles that don't, don't include um, things like, um, Background noise. Caravans rattling. Oh, I like um, that. Um, I, I like when Dutch it says people like murmuring. Yes, I love that. I love when the subtitles have things that you would never ever hear if the subtitles were off. You know, like lines that are like thrown away or like old yes. man cackles. Like so many lines I are thrown away these that. days. And and you know what? When you're if you're especially for like something with a lot of characters or especially if it's like sci fi characters and you don't know how are they saying their name? Like with the Rings of Power, with Game of Thrones, with all the sci-fi shows I watch, that sometimes they'll put the name of the character up there and then what they're saying. I actually think this is. And you can actually learn people's names easier there's and you something know how to, to spell this. them. Because obviously a lot of the stuff that you're talking about with like background chatter and stuff like that, that's for someone who can't hear. Right, yeah, but I'd this like is, an option. This is incredibly helpful. For just dialogue assistance captioning. But if it was like, not I, I have, hearing impaired. I have, yeah, yeah. I'm not hearing impaired, but I need some help in certain areas. It needs to like there should be like a level like like I, I'm going to I'm going to try 40 percent tonight. I'm going 40 percent assistance, and yeah. then it's just like we kind of know where we need to get in where we fit mumble in. captions. Mumble captions. Call it mumble caption. This could be a new website. This whole thing, as David pointed out, that it's like a big thing on Twitter too. People complaining about the way that things are mixed now. And that it's hard to hear things. I know that that's what I've been saying. Yeah, I think should we start a campaign? Should this be what we get behind? <laughs> Is please mix them correctly. You know, on the uh, on the Peloton, they have you can turn the instructor up and you can turn the music up or down, and so they separate the two tracks so you can pick the you know levels. I'm thinking that's me Peloton answer. technology. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. I know that the sound mixer would be incredibly insulted by that, but if it's like, I would like the loud vo vo uh, dialogue version of this, you know? Because there's a lot of musicians that are Make doing it, that now. Like there's are, a, like an overdub, but everyone's yelling. Well, musicians are doing like stems and stuff now, just trying yeah, to make yeah, it yeah. more interesting. Yeah, like, I like that. We should be getting stems of our movies and TV shows and just be like, listen, man, tonight I feel like no music. You know, yeah. Is no, it all of these are good ideas? No score. As if the internet wasn't hard enough to figure out. Now we're trying to fix movies and television subtitles. We've I, we've done a lot of good work today. You're welcome. Get some friends together and pick up your copy of We're Still Good, the party game that laughs in the face of disaster. Available at Walmart.com and select Walmart stores near you.